Shall I go to your Quran? Yeah, because go. it tells the, the Christians I just to judge the by definition. the gospel, and it tells the Jews to judge by the Torah. So I'm. So Jews, in, what? Say again? It says the Jews should judge by the Torah, uh -huh. and the Christians should judge by the gospel. Okay. By the Injil. What's your point? Because they're called Christians in your Quran. No, no they're never called so Christians. What are they? No. What are they? We call them Nasara. What are the Nasara? Are they Jews? It doesn't, it doesn't mean Christians. Are the Nasara Jews? It doesn't mean Christianity. Okay. Are the Nasara Jews? It doesn't mean Christianity. Are the Nasara Jews? They're not. They're not Jews? No. So who are they? Do you believe the because disciples anyone, were Jews? Wait, so wait, wait. Thank you. Wait, you wait. just destroyed his Quran. Again, exposing. Right? Exposing. Okay, because you, okay if, exposing. If, if anyone that's okay. not a Jew is a Gentile. No. But you said Jesus no, 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 was only no. sent to the Jews. Let me teach you the definition oh, of the Jew and Christian in the Quran. You said no, tell me no. the Nasara. Let me explain to you, he's confusing. Tell me about the Nasara. No, you said they weren't Jews. No, let me finish. Let okay. me finish. You confused between right. the definition of Jew or what? Jews, whatever. That's why I asked you. That's let me explain question. to you. In the Christianity, they believe Jews is a tribe. Yes. Answer the question. No, I'm saying in, in Christianity. It's what is the definition? Thank you. In Islam, Benai it's a religion. Israel. In the Christianity, it's in Benai Islam. Israel. No. Yes. You got wrong. Jews are Benai no, Israel. in Islam, you got wrong. I'm saying. The definition who? of Jews, you don't understand. We call it Yehud. Yehud is anyone who practices Judaism. Anyone who practices Judaism, we call them a Jew or a Jew man. Was Jesus a Jew? <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. You so get you're it wrong. Anyone who practices Judaism? Yes. So who practiced, so did Gentiles practice Judaism? Gentiles has got nothing to do with Judaism. Also Christianity. So, so who practiced also, Judaism? You see, you I just answer. told you. Did that include Juda um, you? If it's, not, to if you. it's not an ethnic group, no, you I said it can be anyone. So that would no, include no, the Gentiles. No, no, you're not getting the point. You're not getting the point. A Jew man. Yes. A Jew man. Right. We believe Israel, Israelites. Uh, and who are the, who's Bani Israel? Bani Israel right. are the children of Jacob. Yes. Bani Israel. Right. It means in so Arabic. So that means it's an ethnic group. In English, it means the children of Israel. Right. So it, not anyone who practices Judaism. No, is, the children of Israel is not religion. It's a tribe. Yes. The nation of the but children that's what of Israel. We said. But Jew, when it comes to Jew, the right. name Yehud in Arabic we call it Yehud. Okay. In English, they call it a Jewish people, Jewish, yeah, a Jew man. So anyone who practice Judaism, we call them a Jew man. Okay. And a Jew man is different than Christianity because a Jew man does not practice Christianity, does not practice triune God. You, so, you're but according under, to you, you... You're supposed to tell me what is the difference between a Jew and a Nasara? I just told you, Nasara is who? are the real followers of Jesus. Muslims, they were Muslims. What was their ethnicity? They were ethnicity, they were Israel. But you just said they weren't. No, so I just told you, you're not Israel, getting, he's, not getting he's not getting the okay, point. He's not getting the point. He's not getting the point. I told you, right. the Nasara, the mm -hmm. disciples of Jesus, were Muslims. But according to Islam, Jew, a Jew man is anyone who didn't follow Jesus or Islam. The, the followers of Jesus were the Muslims, not Christian. Don't get the wrong. They're Muslims, Jews. They were what? Muslims. No, they were not Jews. They were not Jews. You're mixing the definition of Jews, Christians, and Bani Israel. Do you understand now? No. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay, Bena, what do you who is Bani Israel? Uh, no, no, he's it's got, not making sense. Okay, let me explain okay, to you. Okay, oh wait, if he, if he makes sense, okay, what you, do you explain want? to what me. Yeah, tell me that. Yeah, you tell me if you understood what he said. He's talking about the difference between Israel Yeah, I'm saying, if you understood, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, explain it to me. No, I'm saying to you, simple question. No, I'm saying to you. Uh, can you move the camera? Wait, wait. Can you move behind the yeah, camera? I'm saying you can speak, but can explain to me what he said, camera. if you understand. Brother, how is it possible for someone else to stand there and explain what the man is in front of you? Because, trying to explain okay, can I repeat Because my you? point is okay, he doesn't make one, sense. Okay, ask me No, because you're saying okay. you understand him perfectly. Need any help from me. You because you, you don't okay. understand you either. Stop talking. Okay, yeah, but you don't understand. Wait, brother. Just, just admit. Wait, brother. Wait, brother. Yeah, but admit you don't understand. Okay, That's why you can't explain. Okay. What you're talking about. I said to you, yeah, let me yeah, let me repeat. Let me come to the point. In Islam, yes, Gentiles, we don't call them Christians. Get the point. Nasara, we call them Nasara in the Quran. Which is Nasara who? are the supporters of Jesus in Islam. Okay. And they were Muslims. All right. Bani Israel is the tribe, the nation. Right. And a Jew man is anyone, we believe any man who practiced the Judaism, 
Israel, Israelites, majority of in Jews practice Judaism. Anyone, but okay. you in Christianity, right. you believe the disciples of Jesus were right. Jew. So, this, wait, wait, let me finish. Right. Let me finish. Right. Let me finish, please. Right. No, you no, believe? But the, but, let but, me come to the yeah, point. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Wait, wait, wait. But this is the. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. This is, but, but this is the problem. He said, now, anyone who practices Judaism yeah. is a Jew, and anyone who's a Nasara is a Christian. No, you're it's not getting According to Quran, the followers of Jesus were Muslims. They were wait, never wait, wait. Christians. So, so who? He's so, getting the okay, point. Wait, 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 no wait, Christian. Wait, 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 no wait. Christian so in Nisar Islam. Wait, 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 Allah wait. never approved Christianity. Wait, wait, wait. So a Nasara yeah. follows what? Nasara? Well, yes. According to Islam? Yes. They were Muslims. But what did they follow? They followed Isa. They were Muslims. They, they, so, then, so they were never so they Christians. they followed something different. Wait, 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 According wait, wait, to wait, us, wait, they were Muslims. Wait, wait, wait. So the people who followed Jesus they were, Muslims. were called the something disciples. different from Jews, yes or no? The disciples were Muslims. Right. They so were not Jews. I said Christians follow Jesus, and he asked me, did the prophets follow did the prophets follow Are you a Muslim? Christ wait, let me wait, wait, wait. respond. Okay. I want to highlight the hypocrisy camera, camera. of his answer. Okay. Because I camera. said, Can you move he backwards, said the Nasara. No, come this because he said the cameras. Nasara followed Jesus and they're there's Muslims. More and he said the Jews followed Judaism. And I said the prophets were Jews because they couldn't follow Jesus. Because in a sense, for simplicity's sake, if I say the Nasara were Gentiles, they followed Jesus, then therefore he's saying the Jews practice Judaism. Nasara were so, not Gentiles. So how can... He's getting wrong. Yes, wait, let me finish. Nasara were not I Gentiles. Know, I know. Don't get confused. I know. Let, I'm making it very simple. He said, uh -huh. the Jews follow Judaism. He said, the Nasara follow Jesus. So they were Muslims. He, the followers of Jesus fine. in Islam You can call Muslims. them is Muslims, okay. Islam, whatever. Okay. But the whole point is, uh -huh. their name changed because they followed Jesus. When I made the original point, to say that in my belief, Christians follow Jesus. So this is why they're called Christians and you, not Jews. You don't follow Jesus. Wait, let me finish. And Jesus I said that prophets, prophets, he believed Jesus practiced let, let Judaism. Me, are you talking and to he me? I'm talking to him. Okay. I said the prophets followed Judaism. And according said, to you, yes? And I, According to my Christian belief. Okay. Then I said the Christians follow Jesus. That's why I said the name Christian means little Christ. So I said the Jews couldn't follow Christians. According to you, yes? Yes, okay. I keep saying it. According okay. to Christian belief, okay. not Islam. So it's we very, very okay. simple. Uh -huh. you, the, some people couldn't understand the point and believed in the point that you made, but then you've contradicted your I, original I point. Let me finish, because I'll say it one more time. You said the Jews followed Judaism and the Nasara followed Jesus. Well, Muslims. And I said, Say well, Muslims. And Muslims, whatever. They were Muslims. That's fine. According to your belief. Okay. Was, wait, okay. let me finish. Let him land. But then when I said that I said the prophets followed Judaism mm. and the Christians followed Jesus, how does that not make sense? Because he said, but did Jesus exist before? I said they cannot call themselves Christians because Jesus the person didn't exist. So I refuted your own claim because your own claim now doesn't goes with what saying, I said. No, you're not saying anything. Of course. Again, he's re just repeating two things now I'm going because to mention. I'm going to mention two things now. Still, I'm not contradicting myself. You contradicted no. yourself because you told me right. God existed in the beginning as triune God. And I said, did the prophets of the Bible practice worship the triune God, God the Father, the Son, that's and the not, Holy Spirit? No, did they? What, did they? That's, that's, no, yes or no? Christianity. Did they? No, did they? Okay, Christi wait, Christianity wait, doesn't. Okay, Christianity, so now I'm asking, who's. Wait, okay, you let tell me. Explain. me. Okay, what let do Christianity. Explain. I'm That's asking one question. You, wait, I'm asking one question. Christianity, you're confusing the belief in the no, Trinity. No, you're not getting the point. I get what you're saying. I'm asking. I get what you're saying. Did they, practice, did they worship the triune God? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? That's different from... Did no, they yes or no? Did, no, did they worship? That's all I'm asking. Did they worship? Now. Did they worship the Holy Spirit? Did they worship God the, Father, the Son? Now. Yes or no? No, I'm let, asking. Let me finish. So let now me, I'm let, asking. Yes, who is the way? Respond. Okay. Who? Let me respond. 
Now, what did I ask you? What did, did I ask you? The Trinity. That's a different question. Did they? Now, let me no, respond. did they? I want. I'm answering, okay, yes or no. I'm but, answering your okay, question. yes or no. I'm answering your question. Okay. So now, in the sense of the in the Old Testament, we have something called progressive revelation. You can't tell. You can't tell let, me yes or no. Give me two minutes, please. I you want know, yes or no. I just I want, want yes or no. To okay, give him two minutes. Two, two minutes, yeah. Right. Stop. Now, the Christian belief is in belief in one God. Yeah. In the Old Testament, they believe in one God. Uh -huh. Now, in terms of when we see in the Old Testament, we see different aspects of the Triune God being revealed. So, Christians believe. When in was revealed the Triune God? Two, two okay. Minutes. No, just I've answer, answer that one. Answer yeah? afterwards. Okay. So, the Christian belief is progressive revelation. Uh -huh. So that means that by the time of Jesus, he came and revealed the full nature of the Trinity. So in the old prophets, they believed in one God. But then also, the progressive revelation identified a triune God. And I'll give you an example. In Zechariah 12, 14, it says that the prophet Zechariah saw that God would return, that God would enter creation and stand on the Mount of Olives and the Mount of Olives would split in two. When Jesus died and ascended to heaven in the book of Acts, it says Jesus will return to Mount Olives. So we identify, for example, in Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah saw the, pre, saw the incarnated Christ. So the prophets progressively saw revelations of what was to come. And that's why if anyone wants to read uh, uh, Zechariah, uh, 10 14 it says that God comes to the Mount of Olives when we see Jesus um, ascension to heaven the angels told the disciples that he is coming back to the Mount of Olives and that is what the prophet in the Zechariah saw in the Old Testament so my point is they saw progressive revelation so they didn't know the full nature of God because even King David says what is the nature of God they didn't fully understand and when Jesus came he confirmed what the full revelation of God was. Okay, so we'll, now, so now, we'll basically, he's just exposing. He's, he's just he's just saying God of the Bible deceived his prophets nope. by not revealing to himself as a triune God. So you tell me God concealed he concealed the truth from his prophets by revealing to himself as triune God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stop, so stop if God, wait, 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 wait. If God, if, if God, who are the chosen ones? Prophets of the Bible are cho the chosen ones. I believe God would not hide or conceal anything from his prophets because the prophets are the chosen ones. God sent them to guide the people through God. Prophets of the Bible are the way to the God. So if the prophets of the Bible are the way to the God and he didn't reveal himself as a triune God, that means in so Christianity, Christian, Christians are the chosen ones over the prophets. So now until now he didn't answer, are the pro, did the prophets of all and uh, all prophets of the Bible practice and worship the triune God, God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Until now, you're not telling me yes or no. What's your answer? Yes. So now, did they worship? Should, should I, did they wait, worship or practice trying to time? I'll respond and now. Explain. Yeah, you didn't answer. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yeah, yeah. so now they've and never practiced. My two minutes. So I'm asking, did they worship or is practice the triune God? Is that's my, all I want to. Is this my two minutes? Yes. All right. So they didn't identify the triune God no, in the exact you're not way Christians the point. do. I just wait, want, did wait, they worship or practice triune God? They worship the one God of Israel. No, so no. That was what, okay, no, triune God. This is my two minutes. There's no answering then. What's the point? I'm, again, they didn't. See? Give him a chance. Yeah, let okay, him, let, gonna, give him a chance. Yeah. So my point is, in the Old Testament, the, the full revelation or the full nature of God was not revealed. For example, you believe that Allah has a shin. Can you show me an Old Testament What's prophet? Wait, oh. can you can you show me an Old Testament prophet that believes God has a shin? If if the if the prophets didn't proclaim Alish Shin, that means they did not know about Alish Shin, and that is progressive revelation. Because it means if the people that if the prophet didn't affirm what you affirm, that means that is a later revelation. So that means the Muslims know more than what the prophets did then. He's so getting wait, up. okay. Wait, I've got one minute. Because progressive revelation means you learn more about God as the time goes along. So if you cannot show me a prophet which affirmed the exact attributes you 
uh, affirm as a Muslim, that is an example of what is progressive revelation. Mm -hmm. So if I say in. that certain Goodness, aspects yeah. of God's full nature was not revealed, and did they know about it? They don't need to know about the whole nature of God because it can come later. In the same way you believe certain attributes of Allah were revealed to Muhammad, in the same way Christians believe the certain nature or the trying nature of God was revealed to the Christians. And that, that, that is why we cannot find any of the evidence. We cannot find minutes, prophets minutes, talking about the Trinity. Minutes. I've got 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. we, that's why we cannot find the exact uh, doctrine of the Trinity in the Old Testament. Or neither can you show me where any prophet affirmed the same attributes that you believe. Allah has a shin, Allah has hands and whatnot. Or Allah is above the throne. That's okay. the answer. Okay, now, oh, we'll do one more, one more. you've gone out of topic, first of all. Shin has got nothing to do about religion. We are talking about religion. As, a, as we Muslims believe all prophets of the Bible, all prophets of God practice one religion, which is Islam. But you believe prophets of the Bible did not practice Christianity. So we are talking about religion. God can change the law, but he cannot change the religion. Religion is the same. We believe Torah and Injil God had different law than Quran. That makes sense. But we don't believe Torah and Injil had different religion than Islam. We believe Islam, all prophets practice Islam. But you believe all prophets of the Bible never practice triune God and never worship the triune God. So you talking about Shin. Shin has got nothing to do about religion. I'm asking again and again, did all prophets of the Bible worship or practice triune God? The answer is no, simple. So now my question to you, who is the way and the truth, Christians or prophets? If prophets are the way and the truth and they never worship the triune God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christianity stands nothing. Because prophets are the way and the chosen ones. They are the chosen ones. If you believe Jesus, you follow Jesus, you do not follow Jesus. Because you believe Jesus practice Judaism. So now I'm asking to you, I'm asking you. Alaikum salam. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We'll wrap up. Sorry. Alaikum salam. We're going to wrap up. No. So I'm saying now, if Jesus is the way and the truth, and Jesus never practiced Christianity, never worshiped the triune God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and you practice Christianity, who is the way, the truth, you or Jesus? And which religion is the correct religion, Judaism or Christianity? No, Islam. No, Islam. no, no, response, no, according to you, my response, answer that question. In my response, answer that question. Last question I'm asking. What's my question? In my response, what's my question? In my response, what's my question? In my response, okay. Now, in my response, what's my question? I've talked about progressive okay. revelation. Oh. Now, apart from, apart from Islam, I will challenge Siraj to show me any any prophet or anyone in history that has called himself Muslim because that name didn't exist until after Islam. What is the meaning of so Muslim? Therefore, if, Wait, if, the, if, a, if a prophet was a Muslim, because you're saying it's the belief. Off topic. No, I didn't no, no, ask no. you. Answer Wait, my question. No, no answer my I'm, question. I'm, no, I'm no, answer my question. I, you see, no, answer my question. I don't want to. You're, you're, no, you're, didn't answer. I ask him, you, if you are to follow Jesus and Jesus worship the triune. Okay, now I am getting him now. He said, God did not reveal himself. Again, no, wait. You're, you see, he's you're contradicted. Taking up my time. He's contradicting. You're taking up my time. I he, think you can, no. Can you answer I, my question? I, I, no, no. Okay. No, Who is the no, way no, and the truth? You or no, Jesus? No, no. Again, let me answer the question. He can't answer. Let me answer. Who is the way? Who is the way? Let me answer. Who is the way? Two minutes. Okay. Give him two minutes. Yeah. I'm asking two questions. I'm, Give him two I've minutes. Got two minutes to respond. Okay. What's my question? You said who is the way and the truth? Is it Jesus or the prophet? No, Jesus or Christians. All right. Who is the way? All right, let me Who is the way? And I'm, I want the Jesus to practice Christianity. Again. How can you follow Jesus if Jesus never practiced Christianity, never worshiped God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? How can you claim to follow Jesus? You tell me now. Again. If Jesus is the way, I have to follow him. Again. Jesus worshiped only again. God the he Father. Know what Christianity is. Oh, now Christianity again. Christianity, Christianity means anyone opposes again, Jesus. A Christianity is Simple. the full revelation of God's nature via Jesus Christ. That's what we believe his, pur his purpose was. We believe in progressive revelation. So as we but came... Jesus, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Again. I got a good question now. Again. Let me finish I got my point. Good question again. now. 
Because Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He's not answering. And Jesus says, the Old Testament did prophesizes answer? about him. Did he answer now, anything? Jesus says, I and the Father are I one. Did many, he answer? many, did he many answer? verses that Jesus spoke about his divine nature. I so and the Father are one what? Wait, let me finish. He's not answering my question minutes. now. So again, he's minutes, making please. a straw minutes. man point okay. because if he's saying, did Jesus believe this? What the point is, what is Christianity? Christianity is about the full revelation of God's nature. So therefore, if different prophets believe different things, because if you read in the Old Testament, different prophets saw different attributes of God and they wrote about it. So some prophets saw things that Moses didn't see. You wouldn't know this because you've never read the Old Testament. If I had a Jew here, they would confirm what I'm saying. So the now, point again Jews, is- they believe wait, your idolatry. Wait, 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 Stop lying about wait, wait, Jews. Wait, wait. Let, I'll, let me add on 10 seconds to that. Yeah, give him 10 seconds. So my point is, Christianity I got one is about the full question. revelation of God's nature that is fulfilled through Jesus Christ. So can Jesus follow Christianity? No. Why? Because Christianity is coming through the good news, which was what Jesus gave to his disciples to give to us. So he cannot follow himself. Right. Okay, now, so now he put himself in, in trouble. Why, why, so why? he said, basically, last yeah, point, yeah, right? last point. So basically he said, Triune, God did not reveal his full nature to the prophets. So Jesus was among the prophets. So by the time Jesus existed and came and born from Mary, that means Jesus must have known God revealed to himself his full nature, which is triune God. If Jesus knew the triune God, how come Jesus did not worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? And you're telling me Jesus knew God? The, uh, God? Okay, but you worship who? Because why didn't Jesus, he worship the Holy Spirit then? You, why would Did you Jesus worship, worship the Holy Spirit? Okay, if Jesus knew God revealed himself, his full nature, which is triune God, how Jesus never worshipped himself and the Holy Spirit. But Christians worship God the Father, the Matthew Son, and the Holy Spirit. So now, so now, wait, 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 no. He said, "Jesus, but God." Christianity. Wait, wait. I didn't finish, finish my two minutes. He said, "God of the Bible did not reveal Himself, His full nature, to His prophets, and Jesus is among the prophets, which means that means Jesus' time, the Jesus', Jesus time, God revealed Himself in His full nature, which is triune God. Yet Jesus knew that about that, but He didn't worship the Holy Spirit. He didn't worship Jesus the Son. And guess what?" Jesus, if he knew the Old Testament before he started his ministry and he was God, how come Jesus, he waited until for the age of 30 and then yet he had to claim to be God? Why not at the age of 7, 8, 9, 10, 20? Jesus knew the, Holy, or the Old Testament. If Jesus knew the Old Testament and he was God, he knew himself, I and Father, why he didn't say, I'm God? Why, he didn't, why at the age of 30? doesn't make sense. It's like me coming to you now. I'm the age of I'm over 20 and I'm come to you. I, I and Father one. So does that make me God? Why not before? Then I'm asking now him, I'm asking him if Jesus is the way and the truth. Christians are not followers of the Jesus. Why? Because Jesus and prophets of the Bible, we believe they are the way and the truth. Jesus, the one they believe is the way and the truth. They just say in empty words. Do you know why? Action speaks louder than a word. Jesus, if you are to follow Jesus, stop worshiping Jesus the Son. Stop worshiping the Holy Spirit. Jesus said the true worshippers will worship Father. Father, who is the Father? Lord the Son. And Jesus said what? He said, Jesus said, I and Father one proves that Jesus is God. He's not God, I and Father. Do you know why? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 23, verse 9, Jesus said, do not call anyone Father on this earth. And when Jesus was saying that word, the sentence was saying that he was on this earth. He said, do not call anyone Father on this earth, for you have one Father, and your Father is in heaven. I and Father, I and Father, I and Father are one, does not, wait, wait. I and Father are one, does not mean Jesus and Father are God. You know why? John chapter 17, verse 21, Jesus said, him, his disciples, God the Father, all of them are one. Does that mean they are God? It, it's me, it means, Unity, one purpose. Jesus and the disciples wanted people to worship God the Father. And God the Father, God wants, he, he, God wants people to worship him. 
So it's one purpose, one unity. Doesn't mean I and Father does not mean they are one. Otherwise, Jesus ignored, said, do not call anyone Father on this earth. For you, you make have your one point, Father. You're going on tangent. Now, so I thank Sivaj. He exposed buried, himself. He's buried his love. If God and revealed himself, speak, Jesus' time in speak, triune God, how speak. come Jesus never let washes me, the triune God? Let me speak. I'm done. Now, I thank Anyways, Sivaj because thanks. he has... He has buried done, Islam. Why? Yeah, I'm done. Why? Because Why? this conversation I'm done. started yeah, about Islam. saying I'm done. the Quran was in clear Arabic, yeah, yeah, how can it be for the rest of mankind? Now, he then, he now says that Oh, basically here, paper boy, he said to me, God, did not reveal his full nature, which is triune God. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he said, prophets of the Bible never practice triune God and never worship the triune God because God did not reveal himself in his full nature, which is triune God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So now I ask him, so did God reveal himself in his full nature by the time of Jesus? If the answer is yes, why Jesus was practicing Judaism, why not Christianity? And they believe Christianity is anyone who follows Jesus. If, Jesus, if you are to follow Jesus, and Jesus never practiced Christianity, and never worshiped the triune God, then you're not following Jesus. You're not the follower of Jesus. If Jesus said, we worship what we know, Christians always lie about Jesus. They say Jesus was worshiped by wise men. Jesus was worshiped. This person worshiped Jesus. This person worshiped Jesus. Jesus himself said to his disciples and Samaritans, we worship what we know. That means Jesus believes his disciples did not worship him. Otherwise, Jesus could not say we worship what we know. He included, he included himself. He included himself and his disciples that they all worship the Father, God the Father. He never said, Jesus, we worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Christians here worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But Jesus worshiped only God the Father. And he said, the true worshipers will worship the Father, which is God. So that means Christians are false worshipers. So now he just exposed himself by saying, the reason prophets of the Bible did not practice or worship the triune God is because God did not reveal his full nature to his prophets. So now they're telling us, prophets of the Bible never knew about triune God, never knew about Christianity. If prophets of the Bible were to follow Jesus and Jesus existed before, how come prophets of the Bible, none of them, none of them worshiped Jesus or the Holy Spirit? So are you telling me Christians, prophets are not the chosen ones, but you are the chosen ones? Come on, Christians. His question about Quran. So now he said, basically he said, if Jesus knew about the triune God and was revealed his time, God revealed his full nature in Jesus' time, then Jesus could practice what? Triune God and could worship the triune God. That means God still never revealed himself in triune as triune God. He never existed. Even Jesus' time, God never existed as triune God. Otherwise, Jesus could practice. He couldn't practice tri and, and Judaism, but he, he, he couldn't practice Judaism. Who's why? The, who's the only true God? Why Jesus never practiced Christian, never practiced Christianity, and he wa never worshipped the Triune God? He can practice himself. So that means Christianity is false. Why? Why? Christianity is false who's the, who's the because only true Christianity God? is not the religion of Jesus. Jesus never worshipped Triune God. If you believe Jesus is the way and the come, truth. Come back. If you believe any Christian believe Jesus is the way and the truth, you need to worship God the Father alone. That's what Jesus worshipped. And Jesus believed his God is only God the Father. That's why he said, I am going to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. The God of Jesus, the God of his disciples, and all of us, our God is God, which you call it God the Father. Jesus never believed he's the God of his disciples. He never said, I'm your God, to his disciples. He believes his disciples worshipped him. No, he doesn't believe his disciples worshipped him. But he believes his disciples and him, all of them, worshipped God the Father. 
and he said the true worshippers will worship God the Father. Pa Paul himself said Jesus today, yesterday, and tomorrow is the same, which means Jesus until now, he says we worship what we know. Jesus until now, he worships God. He doesn't worship um, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Christians, if you, have, if you believe Jesus is the way and the truth, action speaks louder than a word. Show me, prove it to me that you are the follower of Jesus. Otherwise, you can't tell me we Muslims make sense. We believe Islam is the religion of all prophets of God. They practice Islam. They were Muslims and we believe we are Muslims. We practice the same. But you're telling me, oh, and we are the followers of Jesus. Why? Because we are called Christ, Christians. Christians is, came from the word Christ, the name Christ. If Christians came from the word of Christ, then you need to worship what Jesus worshipped, not what you're worshipping. You are false worshippers. According to your book, John chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, you are false worshippers. According to my book, Quran, I'm not a false worshipper. But according to your book, you are false worshippers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And Jesus never claimed divinity. Before he started his ministry, he knew the Bible. He knew Old Testament. If Christians are to quote, quote uh, are to mention and take evidence from Old Testament, how come Jesus, before he started his ministry, he knew Old Testament, but he never claimed divinity? You're telling me Jesus claimed divinity at the age of 30? What kind of God is that? And you're telling me Jesus before the crucifixion was God. But during the crucifixion, during the crucifixion, Jesus died as a man. So that means Jesus the man was not God constantly. And God always is God constantly. He does not change. He's, even if he dies, his nature, even if he comes, if he takes a human form, still does, that does not change his nature of being God. But Jesus changed his nature of being God from uh, being God to a man. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.